Hi friends, I hope you're having a good day. My name is Christine. Welcome and welcome back to Make It or Bake It with Christine. Today I'm going to be making a very simple egg curry. So let's get started. First off, we're going to start by slitting the eggs in between and I'm going to lightly fry the eggs. So I'm going to lightly coat it with turmeric, chili powder and some salt and then I'm going to give it a light fry just to coat the eggs. So I've lightly fried them for about a minute, both sides, and they're done. Now we're going to add the other ingredients. So I'm adding some more oil, about say about two to three tablespoons of oil, and I've put in a teaspoon of cumin seeds or jeera. And once that sputters, I'm going to add in the onions. And I'm going to lightly fry the onions till they are translucent, not fully brown. So as you can see that the onions are translucent now, I'm adding three red chilies. I've just cut them in half and I'm going to lightly fry again. We'll add in the tomatoes now. This is two big sized tomatoes, so like about a cup of tomatoes cut. Give it a fry, stir it well. I'm adding in the other spices, so this is a teaspoon of chili powder and then half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of coriander powder and a teaspoon of cumin powder, so both dhania and jeera powders. And then I'm gonna add in the salt as well. And before I add in the water, I'm just going to let it cook a little bit. I'm also adding a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. And I'm going to cover it for about 2-3 to three minutes. After about 3 minutes, I removed the lid and I've added about a cup and a half of water. And to this I'm going to add 3 more chilies, split in half. And give it a good mix and I'm going to cover it again and let it cook for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, I'm going to add fenugreek leaves, also known as kasuri methi, about a tablespoon, and then I'm going to give it a good mix. At this point, if you want the gravy to be like this, you can leave it at this, or you could let it open, uh, leave it open and let it dry up a little bit, but I like it this way, so I've added the eggs in. And for about two minutes or so, I'm just going to stir it and then I'm going to garnish it with coriander leaves and combine them properly into the, into the gravy and the egg curry is done. You could add more eggs, definitely. <laughs> I liked it this way. And there you go. The egg curry is ready. It's a very versatile dish. You can have it with chapatis, with rice, really, really simple, very easy to make and yet so tasty. I hope you enjoyed this video please do stay tuned for more and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching